flat cap here describing how I draw a cartoon scaffold. A cartoon was drawn from scratch. As you can see, I have speeded this film up a little bit. But what I do is I use simple shapes and then just keep going until I get what I like. The beauty of digital drawing is it is easier to undo than keep rubbing out erasing on a piece of paper so that's probably why I've started to take to this type of drawing. So I have done my shapes, I've made a sort of rough idea of what I want to see and I'm now going through the adding more details on the rough before I will do another layer that will be the final. These pucks that you can see, one allows the size of the brush to be reduced, the other one is for colour. That is, I'm at a loss at the moment for what they're all for, but it's about three or four different things. Along the top is all the tools, and when I come to the scaffolding, drawing the scaffolding, you will see I create another layer and use the straight line ruler to draw me scaffolding and then on the final I will go over it again make it a bit more realistic than just straight lines a bit too uh, a little bit too mathematical for me I don't like doing that sort of thing now I can't remember if I had already mentioned it. If you've seen my other Ricky videos, you will know that I had had a head injury, and this has caused me and a stroke, and it has caused me difficulty in speaking. But I've tried to do these so many ways, and. Well, putting annotations in all the way through, it, it, it reads more like a book than tr me trying to do a drawing. So, I am persevering with this voice. If you can't stand my voice, I wouldn't blame you because I can't stand it how I speak now. Turn it off the body. But if you don't mind me talking, I will carry on talking through this thing, this video. Now you will see I am starting to create the final line drawing. I have created a layer, lowered the opacity on the sketch, done another layer, I am now scratching it over and I am starting to add the scaffolding poles as well with the straight line and then it is easier to keep things tidier for me. Now, I am really pleased with this program because when you've got a memory of a goldfish, it is brilliant to be able to get everything on the front on the screen. You know, I, the majority of this program is there in front of me, down in the. Uh, Pucks and um, got legumes, I believe they're called on here. So it helps me not to forget what I'm doing. I do these films simply because it helps me to get better, you know, well, improve my drawing and helps me with my health, like the speaking of this voice track. Sometimes I sound pretty all right when I'm talking to an odd person, you know. So this is a win-win situation, and I sort of feel that if I keep drawing, making me little videos, I will eventually end up a superb drawer art as a cartoonist, because that is what I really enjoy doing. Doing the cartoons, I just I would do them. Even if I weren't sticking them on YouTube, I would still draw. 
I had wasted too many years not doing what I want with my life. Now I am all about being creative and enjoying what I do. Even my work has changed now. I have built myself a personalized printing business and I, you know, I sell them online because I have a problem talking to people on the phone. As if you think my voice is bad now, you should hear me on the phone. It is, or most people just hang up on me, you know, which is handy when people are trying to sell you things. It is handy. They will soon bugger off when they get old half sharp on the end of the phone. So it saves me a few quid. Now, I am going to have to rest my voice for a moment, so I will stop for the moment, but I will, what I will be doing is go through the whole layer, blacking it and improving it as much as I can. I will just have to stop for a bit. Right, that is better. I have had a bit of a rest now. It's a pain in the back side not being able to do things. Yesterday I, I think I tried about four or five times to get something that sounded sort of half articulate together for another video and I just got into such a big or it is funny you've got to laugh at states you get into through your life there's no point crying about it now I think I've told you how I have done this but like I, in case I'm repeating myself these you think that this is how scaffolding looks for those who are not used to scaffolding Oops, I've changed the leg I didn't like the way the other leg was going so I decided to change it and this is how I do it I just keep going changing things as I go along until I am happy with it I really do enjoy this program it's, it's just so much you can do with it I know I have other programs like Painter, Photoshop and Manga 5 and everybody swears by them but I would love to be able to use Manga but just looking at the operating system when you open the program up it's just oh my god so many things to remember I think I'll bucket that I will stick with my sketchbook pro it's it is in my head what I am doing. Now for anyone that is looking for good art tutorials, you will find loads of them on YouTube. I don't consider what I do tutorials, I just say it is how I do things. It is how I get by, it is how I get over my ailments. I mean, I am reluctant to say disability. I don't feel disabled. It, it, my voice sounds problematic, but inside my head, I am a little bit straight and still down with the kids. Now, I have also done, filmed part two and part three of colouring it in, so you can see how it will end up eventually. I'm just adding the final little bits now. Oh bugger, I've just remembered I forgot to put my new stock I've just got in and I forgot to put it into my accounts. Oh bloody hell, I will be in trouble with the tax man at the end of the year. Uh, it is alright though, I will just say. I am half sharp, don't ignore me, go away. In me alone. So, yes, there is a puck on here. The two pucks on here, you use one to just enlarge, move it around, you move right, left, up, down, and enlarge it. The other puck will move just part of the layer around. So, and then 
there is eclipses. You know, remember how you used to have to draw with them bits of rubber and the curves, the French curves. I mean, well, I wouldn't spare to my memory, but I think they are called French curves. Well, now with Sketchbook Pro, it's much so much easier to draw your particularly get your shapes correctly. Now, I must be coming close to finishing it now. It's not the greatest drawing, I don't claim it is. It's just what I like doing. It makes me feel better. And there's not many people that get to spend the day doing what they like. Mostly. Walking the dog is not so great. He's only a Jack Russell. He's only about six inches high. And I have to hook him over my gammy hands. And he is quite a difficult little bugger to control for me. But we get there. It's a matter of never giving in. Just bugger off everybody else that don't like it and get on with it and do your best. Can't go wrong. Anyway, I am coming so close now to finishing this and I, my voice is still going and I'm getting near to the end of when I can stop this voice track. Because I can't think, I don't, I'm not used to talking to so many people, not so, to keep talking so much these days, I very rarely sort of speak, I just tend to stay in my room, uh, go out when I've got to do things for work, but I just prefer to sit and draw and, and watch YouTube art tutorials, I think they're great, I love Chris Hart's cartoons as well. I think he's very good. I do enjoy his work. Anyway, thank you for watching if you haven't buggered off by now. Thank you and I will do some more. <sighs> Goodbye.